What's going on, everybody? Drake's over here not being polite, making a bunch of noise because that's just how he is, I guess. We are fixing to start this boat for a fellow named Anthony. He has made some really, really cool videos for us. Gonna do some promo videos. We're gonna have them for the website. We took a lot of really nice product pictures as well. So we're gonna be updating pictures on the website with this guy's work. Um, we've got a deal with this guy. He does some really awesome stuff. He works for Yeti, Benelli, just a lot of really huge companies. And we feel that we are very honored for him to be working with us as well. And we're gonna honor him by making his boat a work, one of a kind work of art. This thing is gonna be really, really nice when it's done. Um, we're gonna get rid of these old strip lights because as you can tell, they're not very good. So we're gonna go back with some new ones and this one for sure. So these are trash, we're not gonna deal with these no more. But this thing here, this is an older, I believe it's an 18 or 19 model Havoc RDB 556 before the cutout of the back of the boat. Um, he's got that Tahatsu four stroke on the back of it. Got that Bob's kick plate on there with the hydraulic jack plate. We're going to make this thing completely different from what it is. Um, it's going to be nice to see what it looks like when it's finished. It's got a really nice paint job coming. It's going to have a lot of uh, pictures for Drake in it as well. So it's going to have a Drake paint job on it. Y'all can see that when it's finished. It's going to have a lot of light bars, bow rails. It's just going to be really, really nice when it's done. So. We're going to click back on this thing and add on this video here. We're going to try to get us you know, a lot of footage of this boat for YouTube. So we're going to get started on this one. We were fixing to tear it down and decided not. We need to put this one on YouTube. So the guy holding the camera actually is fixing to jump on this thing. He fixed our plug thing apart so we can start getting stuff done to it. So y'all stay tuned. Here it comes. <laughs> We are clicking back in on the second part of this video. There may be four, five, six parts of the video. I don't know yet. We got to see. This boat is for that guy, Anthony. He is a really awesome video creator. A uh, bunch of stuff like that. So, his boat is in the works now. We've got all the metal work done to it. Uh, we relocated switch panel. It was in that bench. It's now really relocated to here, which we've not ran the wires yet, but it's going to go there. We've got holes back here in the back for 20 watt lights to go back in the transom. He's got some external steps going back of this boat. That way he can get in and out and make his life a whole lot easier. His dog can jump in, climb in. He also wanted a much larger deck lid back here in the back. So I can't even hardly hold on to it. But as you can tell, this lid's going to go all the way back here to the back. Less stuff getting down in here, trash, stuff like that. All that's going to be a lot easier. You go up to the front up there. We have added bow rails and a bull bar and a tow motor bracket as well. So bow rails got welded on, tow motor bracket got welded on, bull bar got done. He can run into stuff, do anything he wants to do with it. As you can see over there, if you can see that boat over there, that boat over there is getting base coated. This boat and that boat there, we've been waiting on paint for, I don't know, somewhere in range of like almost eight weeks to paint these two boats. Finally found a place to make the paint, and lo and behold, they made it wrong. So we had to take the paint they gave us, mix it with some other oil base that we had, because we use water based on everything we do now. Um, so we had to mix some more oil based paint and try to make the colors correct. Is these two boats are going to be Drake old school. Uh, probably one of the best looking patterns there is, I think, in the country, but it does take forever to paint, and it is a total pain in the butt to do. So we're gonna do this one and that one at the same time. We've been planning this. We knew we had two to do, so we wanted to plan it, do it all at the same time. That boat got a bull bar. It's gonna get light bar, radios, some other stuff as well in that boat. This boat still gets a couple other things done to it. It's gonna have something real cool made for the front of the deck up here. We gotta put the lights, interior lights, exterior lights, do all that jazz to this boat. So as we're working on it, we'll click back in on this one, click in on that one some, and we will try to keep you guys up to date what's going on with this one. So keep watching. What's going on everybody? Joe here, WJR Customs. We have got two really nice looking Havoc boats that we have pimped out for some guys. Got a traffic jam going on too. And then wheel that thing over there. So this is for our friend Anthony. He is our cameraman. He does He's got a lot of videos, pictures, and all that stuff. We're going to start dropping it very soon. He is affiliated with Drake, Benelli, and a bunch of other companies as well. He wants Drake Old School on his boat just for the picture purposes of it. So, he's got Drake Old School, got him a WJR stand up bar, OS handle. He already had his trim switch for anybody asking, so that was already here. We didn't supply this, it's our company had. He wanted some external steps on his boat, 20 watt rear lights. He 
you wanted a longer deck lid in the boat as well to kind of keep everything from going back there. We did all that. Put him a new switch panel in the transom here. It had the old style 17 model switch panel in the bench. We got rid of that. Put him up with the WGR Custom State logo there. WGR Custom Switch Panel. We also added him a set of power rails. Custom bull bar with the end caps on it. Custom single row housing, built-in nav lights, trailer motor bracket, interior lights, exterior lights, the rear lights, the light bar. Mounted his motor back on for him. Got all that stuff done as well. So we also got one other thing that's got to be done to this rig. Uh, you guys will see it. We'll get some pictures of it before it leaves. This boat's not leaving until next week sometime. This boat got the same exact camo. This guy said he had to have Greg Old School on his boat. He wasn't going to settle for this. This boat was brand new when he bought it. Had digital brown camo on it, but he had to have the Greg Old School camo. Had to have the WJR Custom Bull Bar on it with the WJR Custom Double Row Light Bar housing with the Phoenix Light Bars as well. So, we did a uh, Bull Bar to this boat, Light Bar housing, 8-inch box, 2 OS handles, interior lights, and rear lights as well. So, we can show you those. but. He got topped off with the Drake Old School as well. This turned out really, really sharp. Um, we don't like painting it, but we can paint it. Uh, we don't cut any corners. We make sure it comes out looking the way it's supposed to, as if it come from Drake themselves, I guess, wherever you want to call it. But it turned out really, really nice. It looks really, really nice, clean, fit, finish on it, perfect. Um, it turned out sharp. We give this guy the 40-watt single-row rear lights as well. These just seem to fit these new style DBSTs a lot better. So we got him hooked up, got him ready to go down the road. Got his speaker box wired up, everything's done. This gentleman's out of Mississippi. He's gonna be here today to get this boat. So we got him finished up, got him ready to go. There's no doubt about it. I think Drake old school stuff is probably one of the best looking patterns there is. But man, does it take some time to paint. So if you need your boat painted, you need a pool bar, you need a radio, you need light bar, interior lights, rear lights, whatever it is, come see Steps Jack Customs.